And here we are then with that duel I talked about yesterday. If you're hearing this, it made it to YouTube. If you're not, well then that's weird because you're hearing it right now, so I don't need to say that. Alright, um, it should be them using Constellars, and I am using Chronomaly for this one. Let's see how that goes. kidding when they said their Constellar deck wasn't the greatest. Then Keto is not necessarily using the, in a deck like that as much, and a Constellar deck without extra deck? That's very weird. What are you going to do with your, without your Omegas and your Pleiades and the Xyz options that you get? Huh. I'll help them with my Constellar deck, I suppose. Um, let's see, what do we have? One, four, two, this level three. Special on this card from your hand, eh. I'll just, uh, I can't special on this turn anyway, so I'll just play Dweller to see if I can get some fancy to maybe get an extra summon. Golden Jet, limit removal. Most of them are machines. Well, some of them anyway. Graveyard, banish it, look tough to cards, one to him, one to grave. I'll take this one. to use later on. I'll just normal summon this. Keep Golden Jet for later. Set two things that I can literally chain with, and then that's it. Thanks for not letting my effects be negated. Special summon this card from my hand. This is defense. I would summon Golden Jet first to increase the levels, then play Moai, because otherwise Moai would become 6 and I can't do much with it. And then I can go into something fancy. This thing's rock, so I can't really go into this. But I can go into Fortress to just. Now I'll pull up. Oh, can I go to San Mayo? How many sets does he have? Two. Yay. Okay. Summon the Jet. Ooh, does he have solemn warning? Effect can't be negated. They can still reply to it. But like bottomless trap pull, well, it doesn't work. Regular trap pull. Okay, then I special summon Moy. <laughs> レベルグの。オーパーツゴールデンジェット。オーパーツマヨ。オーバーレイ。ニタイモンスターでオーバーレイネットワークを構築。エクシーズショーカン。あれあれよ。ゼンマイザーソナルゼンマヨ。ウォ
So you have vanished the Kentucky Cash yeah, I can get that one, other two grave, uh I already special summoned something else, so I can't do it. Any months during the turn, not later, so hmm. not that I probably could use this use it this turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. Crystal Bones attacks, takes him down to nine thousand. Considering his field, I feel I still have the advantage, even though he has higher life points. I also have a few things. I have ways to stop the effects and attacks with Phoenix Chain as well. So that goes. He has a Pollux. Okay. Set card. I am not allowing you to. Oh my god. And I did do it on attack declaration, so... I have to let it go. Like, it, he barely sees Dark Bride, Wiretap, maybe... So, but then you could still do it on attack, like, when they enter battle phase. I generally do it on attack declaration, just cause, but... Now, if there is something like Wiretap or Dark Bride, and you have a second Fiendish Shane that you want to use to stop it, then you can't if you did the original one on attack declaration. Wait, I could have attacked Declaration. There's two parts of Battle Step, Declaration and the part after. I could have still done it. Yeah, because Battle Step, Battle Step, Attack Declaration, and then, a sec and then second part of Battle Step, then it's Damage Step. Could have still done it, but meh. Um, Guardian, now let's see. Normal Zone Special on the Core Armory for my hand. The Special Love becomes a level of Special Monster. Mm. Don't really like that yet. However, I can do some fancy things. The question is, what's that side card? That could really be annoying. <coughs> I will target you and banish you. <clears throat> Look at the top two cards of my deck. One to hand, other to grave. Uh, I'll send you to grave. So I can't special summon any mods this turn except Chronomalies. Well, I can special summon Bones, special summon a Chronomaly from hand or graveyard to get it. And then still normal summon guardian, not. I can I can really only go into bones to really get any exceses out. Our fancy guardian to do something. They're not machine. I want a machine to just kill them. Um. Hmm. Pyramid Eye Chapel just boosts them up. But they're all rock. So, yeah, there aren't a lot of ways for me to do anything here. Um, I'll keep Guardian out for later. Special Summon. Effect. Anomaly from Hand or Grave. I hereby select Crystal Bones. See, I wanna go into this one. That's a rock type monster that actually works. Not putting a target on top. Destroy it. Hmm. Might as well. I will overlay these two. Exceeds Shulkan! Arvario! Gurganic Guardian! Respond later. Not during my turn. Koka Hatsta! Your monster's attack becomes zero. Effects negated. I can just destroy it now. Both. They don't have Honest, but who knows what they have face down that they might want to use Pollux for. Watch them have like Rippling Mirror Force. That needs a direct attack to trigger. That'd be annoying. Well, so what I could have just done is just crystal bones plus eye tower. Huh. Well, it's a good thing that I destroyed it, because otherwise the thing would have stayed on the field. Well then. That leaves them with very little, but me with very little as well. I would like to draw into a chronomaly, preferably a level 5, like my. So I can guardian that into it, excuse me, to 
Maybe Tyras? No, actually into... Well, Guardian Nod is a, not a machine, so I can't actually go into Nova with it. Pleiades? That's Earth, so it doesn't work either. Golden Jet. Yeah, I c it can become level 4, then they can become level 5 together. <coughs> one machine, one rock, one light, one earth, so no Pleiades, no Nova. I can go into Tyras. I just want to defend myself from whatever trap he has. Watch him have... Well, he already used Compulsory, didn't he? Yeah, so that's gone, but he could still have Solemn Warning, which he might use this time. Not really afraid of that. I just want to get rid of his one set card and then just go. So in a way, I just want to summon Jet with Tablet and just go. Keep Guardian off for an Xyz option later on. Just to play it safe. And if he doesn't play any, play a set card, then I'll probably Xyz next time. Yeah. I'm going to play it on the safe. Golden Jet. Tablet. Still no response. I could chant because the response time that I have to give. Attack. Well, I, I was going to say a good thing I did it, but then again, Taras wouldn't have been destroyed by this thing. Uh, well, that goes to graveyard. Uh, equal to the visit, uh, equal to its original attack. Okay, but now I do still have a Guardian Knot that can do something. Because they could have also, like, I could have Guardian Knot an into Golden Jet, and then they use it in Golden Jet. They have another set. Stop with your set cards! I'm not going to summon Guardian Knot now, no. I said this. Because it could be useful in my opponent's turn. Another set. Start with your set card, just play monster. Control of physical chronomaly, I can discard this card, add a chronomaly from deck to hand. That's only if I face control of physical chronomaly monster. I would then have to normal summon guardian knot, but I, no, I want to normal summon something else, like that I maybe get next turn. Discard crystal skull to get like Moi, so I can then turn after guardian knot with Moi and make something fancy with level 5. Enter. Another tablet. Does make my cards pretty strong. Well, I could still. Uh, I suppose I could just go Guardian Knight, and then I'd I'd have a 1900 attacker, and then Crystal Skull to discard into. Never disc. I haven't actually seen never disc at all. I want never disc because never disc. I don't recall its exact effect. One is summoned from the grave, and you can't spell summon anything other than chronomalies. The other one's pretty sure we normal summon it. You can search a chronomaly, a chronomaly card, and I like that idea. So you normal summon guardian, not not actually using its effect. I will discard Crystal Skull to add a Chronomaly monster from my deck, or even my graveyard to my hand. Huh. Learn new things every day. I probably knew that, but forgot. Chronomaly card from deck to hand. Yep, yep. Let's get the Nebra Disc out. Also, I'm once gonna make like a Yu-Gi-Oh special video because Nebra Disc, the Chronomaly Nebra Disc, and Constellar Pleiades, they they're both very strong cards, and I feel the main cards maybe even in some of my favorite decks. Sure, I haven't used Chronomaly for a while, but when I first used them, I really like them, especially the the one that used them in Zale, Trey. I really like him. So, yeah, like Neverdisc and Pleiades have something in common, besides the fact that they're Yu-Gi-Oh monsters and lights. And it's a very interesting story, and I'll um, tell that in the video at some point. I don't know when yet. Igzo, opa, it's Guardian, not Tyrant to attack. This thing with 1900. Pretty interesting. Well, there 
with the, this with the cylinders and it's an attack. No, I'll I'll take the nineteen hundred. I'll take the nineteen hundred and um leave the lance for a later turn. Because I haven't seen much of that monster. They must have not really been lucky in throwing into them. They've been able to stall me out for quite some time. <laughs> and we get another Skelly. Huh. I'll add it. I'll play it later, I think. Not, I could just play it now, get a disc, just in case the other one, like, Torrential or whatever comes out after this. No, because Torrential in combo with Warning doesn't work. And I still find to save it. Now disc. Go. Waiting for Warning. The activation of Light Mounts effects cannot be negated. However, they can still use um, things like bottom strap in response to my effect. I could only card from deck to hand, and I might actually go for the field spell because I have that somewhere. Pretty sure. I don't have the field spell in this deck. Oh, it must have been the old version. Um, I could also add something with Scully. Um, might go on. I have not could only spell card. Oh, I do have the fuel spell. There it is. Add a chronometer card from deck to hand. Let's just take Babylon. And then actually check the graveyard because you don't know what's there. Um, is this thing machine? This thing is machine. I would take Golden Jet and then limit a removal if they don't play anything. And then finish it off. Yep. Robot City Bobby to Hot Star? Need to banish another level four, which is another golden jet. So that works. Is okay. You have response or no? I think that means no. Enough time given. Tokushi Shokan. This thing is at 19. This thing's at 29. This thing's at 34. And I can double Nebra Disc and Golden Jet. Direct attack! If I have Mirror Force, I can save one. With Lance. Ah, the, the, the just as I freaking say it. Um, I will save Nebra. Cause wait, mm, thinking. If I save Jet, then that's less damage on them this turn. But then next I can just summon Nebra back, although only in defense. But then after that, I can use Golden Jet's effect to m use the, both the machines to go into Nova, to go into Infinity, or to go into one of the others. So I'll actually save Jet. It'll be a really low attack for my turn because my tablets will also stop. Chain on Golden. Wait, I could just normal summon a freaking Nebra disc. No. Mm, chain on. Because I can. Can I control more than one Nebra disc? You can only use one effect. No, I'll just take another. And I'll save Neverdisk so I can use the other Neverdisk. So I can use the other Neverdisk next turn. So this drops Neverdisk down for 3400 attack to 1000 attack. The rest is taken out. Direct attack with the thousand I have left. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Mine is 800 and also unaffected by, this, by uh, tablets. That works too. Main face too. I can still use Skull in case he destroys it during his turn. I will take the Never Disc now. I will also set this card. Because on his turn I'll be back to 3400, and I could boost it to 6800 if the play. Why he would want to attack into this thing, I don't know, unless he has Honest plus Constellar Monster. Let's see what happens. No. You're just not getting the search. I was thinking, I can't negate it, but no, I can just can't negate the activation. I'm just negating the effect, so it does work. Whew. I thought, oh, I just was Phoenix Chain, but no I didn't. Doro. Because this doesn't stop activation. Things like a Volsar Dolka do. And um Solemn Warning does a few other things. I'll display another Libra. Use its effect. You're stopping that. Okay then. Do I have a Babylon that can be used? I can't use it on level 4 because I only have one level 4 there. I can use it on 3, but do, are, I'm pretty sure all the 3's are rocks. Hmm, like, let's see, I can get to 68 with Never Disc and this. Minus their 700, that's 61. So I only need another 700. Which I can do with crystal bones. I think this is it, unless his hand trap will help. If he uses Honest, then he uses Doing Damage Step. And if he doesn't use it before Damage Calculation, then I could still limit our removal after and still win, but then not finish him off if I attack with Never Disc first. So I'll attack with Bones first. And I could still, pretty sure I have uh, Cowboy, yeah, for 800 extra damage. I could have actually just done that. But in case they have Honest, um, this is a safer play. Crystal Bones attacks. Six. Oh, that's actually 600. No, but then this does take away the 700 seconds of direct attack. Miscalculation. I can still do it. I can still do it. You forgot the 600 damage. Oh, yeah. I actually get boosted power because the eye tablets. <laughs> um, let's see. It's 800, 600, uh, 2200. Not that it matters much. But just to play properly. Um, direct to attack. Damage step. I need to know first they don't actually have a response. So that then I can play it. And then taking the damage shows that they don't have a response. Damage step. Use this. Double attack. Extra damage. That was a dual video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the daily Yu-Gi-Oh! video tomorrow. Goodbye.